Jezebel. Jezebel, I wanted to talk about Jezebel today because Jezebel is not simply a woman, Miss Lavonia, but Jezebel is a spirit. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. Jezebel is a spirit. She is, uh, she, she is lurking throughout all the churches in America today. Right. Mm -hmm. Jezebel, if you don't understand Jezebel in her nature, Jezebel, uh, Sister Candy, does not want to operate outside of the church, but Jezebel would rather operate on the inside of the church. Right, Many times you will see uh, uh, Jezebel, not just a man or, or a woman, but also a man as well, you will see Jezebel attach herself to ministry because right. Jezebel is most effective when she is attached to authority, leadership, and ministry. All right. Jezebel does not affect the outward church because the outward church does not matter, uh, but but Jezebel would rather be right here in Greater Faith Christian Church. Amen. Jezebel, at some point, I want to submit to you, Brother Nova, at some point, we will see uh, the Jezebel spirit try to operate even in this ministry. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. And so that is the reason uh, that I want to preach about this, that you may notify and identify when it is you see that Jezebel spirit, because regardless of who you are, regardless of what you've done, there will always be a Jezebel spirit that tries to attach itself to your your life. I don't right. care how good you are. I don't care how good you may look. I don't care how oh. good you may preach and talk to people. At some point in your life, Jezebel, that spirit, that spirit of Jezebel is coming your way. Right. right. Man. It doesn't matter what you've done, Sister Gloria, how right. good you have been in ministry. You will see at some point in your life uh -huh. the Jezebel spirit. All right. Yeah. Make yourself manifest in your home, in your job, in your marriage, in your friendships, and also in your church. Amen. Jezebel's name literally, literally means without cohabitation. Mm -hmm. In other words, she will not live with somebody or someone that she cannot dominate or control. That's right. Jezebel, in her nature, she has to have supreme authority over every situation in her house. All right. Jezebel wants to use manipulation and control because she can't stay with you if she can't control you. All right. All right. Man and woman, man and woman, Jezebel can't be with you if she can't control you. Come on now. Amen. Jezebel won't be married to somebody that she can't control. Right. Come on. She can't be operating in a relationship that somebody that she can't manipulate. Uh -huh. If Jezebel can't manipulate you, she would much rather not be friends with you. Uh -huh. Because Jezebel's supreme right by her own right, she wants to make sure that she has dominion and power over you. Uh -huh. But that's totally contrary to what the word of God is because God wants you to be totally committed, controlled, yeah. and dominated by his spirit. Yeah. You can't be connected to Jezebel and be connected to the spirit of God at the same time. Time. Right. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. Generally, Jezebel seeks control through manipulation and hatred, and she has a hatred, a pure hatred for true spiritual authority. Come on. In other words, Jezebel will attach herself to somebody that won't preach about Jezebel. Come on. Jezebel don't want to be in a church where there is true spiritual authority. In other words, where there is good leadership, where there is where there is a, a good a uh, base setup. That's why we have uh, different church meetings. We just started it. That's why we have the same motto because our goal is to save that which is lost. Yes. Uh -huh. right, amen. Jezebel don't want you to be saved. Come on. Right. Mm -hmm. Jezebel wants you to be submissive to her authority and her power. Right. Jezebel's true nature can be summarized as wicked, controlling, sexually immoral, murderous, and also demonic. Mm. Come on. Many of us uh, uh, have been taught all of our days uh, that Jezebel is simply a spirit of harlotry. That's not yeah. the case in Jezebel's. Uh, that's one of the spirits in operation, but that's not her true nature. Mm. Mm. That's not all Jezebel is. She's not just a harlot. She's not just a, a promiscuous. She's not just an adulterer. She's not just a, 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 a harlot. She is much, 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 much more than that. Yes. She is much more than that. But but her nature in all, you can summarize Sister Gloria, is simply demonic. Mm. That's it. Amen. She is totally contrary to what God says. All right. She is totally opposed to what God says. Mm -hmm. She is totally against what it is the Spirit is trying to do in the church of God. She is totally against that. Yes. Jezebel makes her home inside the church generally under the false pretense of being spiritual or a religious person. Mm -hmm. Jezebel makes her home in the church under the false pretense of being a spiritual 
or a religious person. Mm. That's right. In other words, Jezebel knows how to talk church language. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. Yes. Jezebel knows how to dress, what type of lipstick to wear, what type of shoes to wear to church. She got the best type of shop that you can imagine. Right. But Jezebel looks like she has the Spirit of God, but she don't really got the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. Amen. The Bible says the Spirit of God leads you to do certain things. In other words, the Spirit of God leads you to love your neighbor, love your enemy, love those who, who, who persecute you. The, the Spirit of God leads you to do things that you don't want to do, but you know what's right for you to do it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, the spirit of Jezebel is a religious or spiritual person or a spiritual person. Jezebel main goal is to appear close to leadership. All right. Amen. All right. Brother Noah, Jezebel will come right in your church and, and, and get very, very close to you. Yeah. Come on. Jezebel wants to be right next to the pastor. She, uh -huh. she, she can't be away from the pastor, but she want to be right next to the pastor. She want to know the pastor's a personal cell phone number. Come on, come on, come on. Uh -huh. The first lady number just won't do. She want to know the pastor number because uh -huh. Jezebel says, I got to get right next to the supreme authority inside the church. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Jezebel, she wants to get right next to leadership. She wants to be right next to her sister Gloria so she can suck all the life out of the man or woman right. of God Amen. of the house. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's it. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. you don't see Jezebel, Brother Mark. You don't see Jezebel because Jezebel operates behind the scenes, that but she it. uses manipulation to Come control on. the environment. Come on, yeah. man. Jezebel, she operates behind the scenes. You don't see Jezebel. Jezebel is somebody you don't always see. She operates behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. She don't want you to see her because she don't want you to call her what she really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey man, Jezebel appears meek, Sister Candy. She'll, she'll look meek. This spirit looks really meek and humble and, and walking in full sub, uh, submission. But, but, but that's a trick. Uh -huh. She is being submissive, Brother Mark, because her pre, her, her, her main motive is to appear meek so she can be All in control. All right, amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. She comes in, Pastor, what will you have me to do? Come on. Yes. Pastor, how is it that I can see the ministry grow? Come on. Pastor, what is it? Can I, can, can I do just whatever you would have me to do? Uh, that's the Jezebel spirit. Yes, mm -hmm.